Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB in the cage. We're setting it up today for Tigers third baseman, Nick Castellanos. Nick, thanks for being with us. Of course. Uh, as you know, folks, you're the engine of this show. Otherwise, it's just me reading stuff off Twitter, which really isn't as much fun as it could be. So fire up your device. Join Nick <laughs> and myself right here in the cage. Ask your question directly to him. Get some face time with him and join us in the show. Look at that. Just like a fan. Way to be on time. I appreciate that. Hey, fam, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Nick? Um, I'm Aaron from uh, Wyoming, Michigan. And my question is, why did you pick number nine for your jersey? Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good question. Uh, I was number eight coming up pretty much uh, my entire amateur career. I wore number eight. And uh, when I had the option to pick my number, uh, Wally Joyner already had number eight, and then my son's birthday was August 1st, so eight plus one came out to nine, so voila, number nine. <laughs> That's awesome. That's some uh, Nick Castellanos math right there, folks. See, this is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Cool things happen. Thank, uh, thank you, Aaron. That's high school education right there. <laughs> thank you, Aaron, for helping <laughs> us out as we uh, field questions with Nick. Get your device fired up. The MLB Fans app is the way to join us in the show live via mobile, so please do that. Also, hashtag Chat and Cage. I'll read it off Twitter. Let's go to that MLB Fans app right now, and uh, there's a lot of great questions here. And I love this one. seems like from a youngster. Angels fan, 25, uh, 27, 512. Nick, I voted for you for the All-Star game. I think you're a very good baseball player. I want to play baseball in high school. Uh, do you have any tips for me on what I should do in order to make the high school baseball team? Uh, first off, th thanks for your vote. I really appreciate that. And, and as for the tips, I mean, I'd say my biggest tip is, is just to figure out what you need to work on the most in, in, in your game. It's always really easy to work on the things you're good at, you know, just like it's really easy for me to work on hitting because it's something I'm, I'm good at and I love to do, but it would be more difficult for me to work on things like, like defense or, or running bases or taking first or thirds were things that I really do need to work on. So my tip would be to figure out what you need to get better at in your game and try to get better at that and spend more time working uh, in that area. Awesome advice from uh, Nick Castellanos for a young baseball player, Angels fan, 27512. That was the MLB Fans app. We have other fans with us, like this fan right here. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Nick? Um, I'm Evan from Teaneck, New Jersey. Hey, Nick. My question for you was, who, what, which pitcher do you think has the nastiest stuff in the MLB? No, we're gonna face him today, Chris Hale. I hate facing this guy. He's uh, he's he's very he's very funky. Uh, he he kind of winds up and and throws almost from like where second base is, and uh, his fastball is is pretty hard, and his breaking pitches move a lot, and he's got a great changeup to complement all of that. So, uh, I'd say Chris Sale is is probably has some of the best stuff. As for a lever, a roll this Chapman, uh, his fastball is pretty impressive. Uh, outstanding. Answers right there from Nick talking about Chris Sale, the opponent. He's funky, nasty, coming from second base with that big old lanky delivery. Great question from Evan there at T-Neck. We got fans lined up. We're going to get them in as often as we can. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Nick? Hi, I'm Vincent. I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. Huge Tigers fan. And uh, I wanted to ask you, Nick, what was your transition like from the minors to the majors? And what changed for you which made you a much better hitter this year? Um, I think the biggest transition from the minor leagues to the major leagues is the mental side comes in so much more in the major leagues just because there's so much information that goes out on you. So wherever your weak, your weak points are, offensively or defensively, whatever, the team has that information and they're going to try to exploit it the best as possible. Where in the minor leagues, it's just more about playing baseball. Uh, and as what transitioned for me, I think just kind of the comfort level uh this is my third year my third year now i've a lot of these pitchers that i've i faced before uh, i have a little bit better of a game plan with them i also know myself better just because the more time you play and and the more you fail you you start to look in the mirror a little bit more and start figuring out more about yourself as a baseball player and how to get yourself better so um i don't i don't think there's one magic uh thing that clicked for me i just think it's a little bit more time and experience uh, great question from Vincent, and a deep and thoughtful answer from Nick there. 
Folks, pay attention to that last part. The, the more you fail, the more you learn about yourself and how to improve. That's pretty much universal. Baseball is a great way to look at it. But, man, that's, that's good advice across the board. This is the Edward Thank Jones you. Chatting Cage. That's Nick Castellanos. I'm JB. Uh, MLB Fans app is, is on fire. I'm refreshing as fast as I can to keep up. Let's go to Angela's question. Nick, who do you think has helped you the most on the Tigers to get you to play the way you are this season? Uh, it's been it's been all the veterans that I've had a privilege of playing against. Going back to when Tory Hunter was here, uh, playing with Miguel, uh, Victor, Ian Kinsler has been uh, a great influence on my career. Watching watching him, how he plays every day, how he competes. Uh, you know, even even my newer teammates like Cameron Maben, Justin Upton, J.D. Martinez, uh, all of these guys have had uh, great have been great influences on my career, and I and I try to pick the pieces that what they do great to try to make myself better. Even even the pitching staff, just listening to the way pitchers talk about their preparation, they attack hitters. I, I try to take take it in from everybody. Uh, there you have it, folks. That's Nick Castellanos talking about who's been the influence. It's a heck of a roster and lots of great players to play alongside. So we continue our conversation here. Remember, a hashtag chatting cage for Twitter, the MLB Fans app, any device. You can join us here in the show. Get that fired up. I'm going to go to the EDJ question of the day. Nick, early in your career, you didn't wear batting gloves. What made you switch to wearing batting gloves? The cold weather, I'd say. <laughs> playing, playing in, playing in, uh, in Toledo in April, and, and playing in Detroit in April, and and the rest of the division we have in the cold weather doesn't didn't feel too good. I guess going up there with no batting gloves. So I was I was beating up my hands pretty good, and I just put them on, and it's been a lot. It's been just a lot easier on, on my hands, I'd say, throughout the season. Uh, there you have it, folks. That's the question to the EDJ question of the day. Cold. Cold will do it. <laughs> gloves are, gloves help in the cold. Uh, sometimes the simple answers are key. Another fan is here in the cage. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question for Nick? I'm Matthew from New Jersey. First off, I want to say thank you for doing so well on my fantasy team. But I want to know <laughs> what was it like to win the Futures Games MVP knowing that you were the best of the youngsters in the game? Um, it was, it was an honor to, to be able to perform so well and represent the Tigers in the way I did that game. Uh, and on, and on that day, I just, I, I happened to have, I guess the best, the best game on my team, but that doesn't really mean that I was the best out of all the youngsters. I mean, we had the lineup that was there was incredible. I mean, Garrett Cole was there. Manny Machado was there. Will Myers was there. Uh, Jerks and Profar was there. Francisco Lindor was there. So, I mean, we had. There were, there were some studs on, on both sides of the dugout in that game, but it was a special day for me. It was a special day for my family, and uh, I was just, I guess, privileged and honored that I was able to help the USA team win and, and bring home the, the MVP trophy for my organization. Uh, that certainly was one of the great Futures games there as you talked through that roster. Those boy, on both sides of the ball, incredible baseball players. I'm glad to see you have success there and continue success now. I go back to Twitter. This is from Fair Joe. Nick, besides Comerica, what's your favorite ballpark to play at? Dodger Stadium. Mm. Easy. I love it. Uh, just something about the atmosphere there. You know, uh, it was one of the first road trips I had in the big leagues. Uh, it's where I hit my first home run. We had a, a pretty intense extra inning game there. And kind of just the on-field vibe and the, the fans, the atmosphere, the music playing, everything about it, I just... I really enjoyed it. Uh, great story. Uh, There's a beautiful stadium, a great place to watch baseball, and for Nick, a great place to play baseball. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Fans, keep on coming. I'm going to get as many as you can in before we have to say goodbye to Nick. we got a fan with us now. What's your name? Where are you from? What is your question? Hey, I'm JM. I'm from San Diego, but living in New Jersey. Nick, uh, if you get to go to the All-Star game this year, which looks like might happen, uh, what do you plan to do in your free time in the city? Uh, probably, probably spend it with my friends and family, uh, just because if, if, uh, that ends up coming to be, and I'm privileged enough to make it there, I know that all my friends and family are going to want to come support me. So <laughs> probably just taking it in and, and trying to entertain them and, and just really, and en en enjoy the experiences as, as much as I can. Uh, great question there from San Diego and Jersey asking about the, uh, San Diego trip. Should it happen for Nick in July? And, uh, we certainly hope that it does. Let's go back to MLB Fans app. This is from No Hanlon. As a young third baseman, Nick, who'd you look up to, current or past? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, 
Well, my my situation is pretty is pretty different, just because I was drafted as I was drafted as a shortstop, and then I bounced around so much in the minor leagues. Uh, you know, I I played one year at third base in A ball, and then I moved to right field. Uh, try to learn how to play that in double A and then I jumped to left field and try to learn how to play that in triple A and then I got thrown back into the big leagues in 2014 as a third baseman so I was learning a lot on the fly and I learned I looked at uh, guys that were playing uh, now that had a lot of success so I watched a lot of video on Adrian Beltre I watched a lot of video on Nolan Arenado I watched a lot of video on Evan Longoria just their set their setups and and how they attack certain balls and and uh, I guess what kind of position they're always in to try to to try to get the best jump possible. So I'm I'm still I'm still looking at these guys just because they're so good at what they do, and I'm trying to learn as much as I can from everybody. Uh, there you have, it, folks. Those are the influences of who's Nick is looking at. There's a lot of guys that we enjoy watching as well. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage hashtag Chatting Cage Fire <laughs> device like this fan right here. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question? Hi, I'm Matt from uh, New York. Uh, Nick, what would you consider to be the highlight of your career so far in the majors? Um, I'd say there's a couple. The first I'd say would be probably to my, the first home run I hit in Dodger Stadium just because I had my dad there and it was off of Josh Beckett who I grew up watching the Marlins and, you know, I don't know how many Josh Beckett clippings I have of him winning the World Series MVP and, you know, dominating the Yankees in that in that series and whatnot. So he was a childhood hero of mine. And for me to be able to hit my first home run off of him, a guy who I was sitting in the stands watching in, in fifth grade, you know, mow down these greats like Derek Jeter and, and the rest of the Yankees was, was a lot of fun. It was It was a pretty special moment. The second, I'd say, would be uh, – clinching our division on the last game in 2014 and being able to to have a champagne shower and and uh, go to the postseason was pretty cool. Uh, great times for Nick and I definitely know great times for fans as well as they look forward to uh, watching Nick Castellanos play baseball play third base. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage because it's time for another fan or two. Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your question? Hi, I'm Simon Dykstra from Grand Rapids, Michigan. What was your favorite memory from playing on the White Caps? From the White Caps? Oh man, all of all of my memories I have from the White Caps are incredible. <laughs> that was my first time being away from home. Uh, my first time really trying to grow up on my own. Also learning how to play baseball every day. Uh, I loved my teammates. I loved the bus rides. I loved the the interesting cities that I got to go visit. And at the time, you really don't appreciate it as much because, you know. It can be viewed as a grind, but I, I made some of my best friends and some of my best memories during that season. Uh, the fans were great. The stadium was great. I mean, I don't have too many bad memories about that 2011 season. Uh, there you have it, folks. Lots of love for the Whitecaps from Nick Castellanos, as, as we've seen. He, uh, a guy who loves to play baseball, plays it incredibly well. Nick, did you have a good time here in the chatting cage? <laughs> I did. It's that's, been fun. That's it's great. Good questions. Uh, the fans are phenomenal. They came out for you in droves. We're glad to help them out and be a part of this show. I want to thank Nick and fans. I want to thank you a ton for showing up with us today. We'll see you on the next round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.